Hello, this video is about how to install a full Ubuntu Linux X11 desktop environment desktop into Ubuntu server. Ubuntu is a lightweight desktop that does not use as many resources as a Unity desktop that comes with Ubuntu. That said, I would not recommend adding a desktop to a production server, but if you want a computer to learn on, adding a desktop to a server can be productive. Outcomes demonstrated in this video include prepare Ubuntu 12.04 server for the desktop install, update, upgrade, and install the DKMS. This dynamic kernel module support uh, is there for VirtualBox if you're running inside VirtualBox. If you're running inside VirtualBox, there are some additional settings you may want to change. One is allow for APIC shutdown advanced programmable interrupt controller shutdown. Basically what this does allows VirtualBox to shut you down if the server hangs up after the install. Two, use VirtualBox settings to point the guest to an empty CD DVD drive. And the purpose of this is just makes it easier to install VirtualBox guest editions. And three, add 256 megabyte of RAM because you're adding the desktop. That said, I've run Ubuntu server with uh, the Ubuntu desktop on 256 megabyte of memory, but I didn't have really have it do any work. And then finally, we go to install the Ubuntu desktop, and also if you're running VirtualBox, install VirtualBox guest editions. The requirements, Ubuntu server, uh, Ubuntu 12.04 is used in this demo. The Ubuntu server is fully backed up if you have any data that you want to save in case something goes wrong with the install an internet connection, and administrative privileges on the Ubuntu server. That's using sudo. And additional info, you got the Ubuntu site, the Ubuntu team wiki, how to use a GUI on an Ubuntu server. That gives a, a list of different ways to install a GUI on an Ubuntu server. And finally, because I use TaskCell to install the desktop, there's a link to a site from, from Ask Ubuntu that answers that question about whether you should use TaskCell or install. And a disclaimer, while I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that it'll work with all combinations of hardware and software out there. So I include a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. Here I have an Ubuntu 12.04 server. The only thing installed on this server is SSH, Secure Shell. In order to install Ubuntu LXDE desktop, I need to do an update and upgrade and add some items. So in order to do this, I will do a sudo apt get update to get a list of files. It can be updated. Once I have this list of files, I'll do an upgrade. So now for the upgrade, sudo apt get upgrade says after this operation 4096 bytes of additional disk space will be used. That's 4 megabytes. Key in yes. I'll come back when this gets through. Here we are finished with the uh, upgrade and if you don't have the latest kernel version you might want to add that. Use dist upgrade. In my case, it says uh, zero newly installed, zeros to remove, and zero not upgrade. So it does have the latest uh, Linux kernel version. Now, because it's running in VirtualBox, I'm going to add the dynamic kernel module support for VirtualBox. Yeah. Install DKMS. And key in yes then I want to install it. And what this does for the VirtualBox guest editions, if, if you do a kernel upgrade, supposedly you won't have to reinstall VirtualBox guest editions to get it to work correctly. So now after DKMS is installed, and because this is running in VirtualBox, I'm going to go make some settings in VirtualBox. If you're not using VirtualBox or you're running actually on the hardware, you can skip these settings. So in order to make these settings, I'm going to power it off. Here I am after the Ubuntu server, uh, we've updated and upgraded and installed DKMS. 
Now I'm in VirtualBox Manager. There are some settings I want to make here. First one is System. And it's got 512 megabytes of memory. Because I'm adding the desktop, I'm going to add an additional 256 megabytes of memory. So that will make this 768. It depends on you, depending on how much you have already installed and what actually what your server is doing. And another thing I want to do is I want to enable IO APEC. Basically, what this does, it allows you to shut down your machine gently or your guest gently from the VirtualBox Manager so that you don't leave it in an undefined state when you shut it down. So I'm going to click here, click OK. Display. I want to make sure that 3D acceleration is not enabled. If this is a server, it shouldn't be enabled. And this is 12 megabytes of memory. Display memory is, is good enough. I'm just going to click OK. And in storage, I want to make sure the host drive E is, is selected for the uh, CD DVD. And I'm just going to click it here. And that's OK. And those are three settings I want to make before I start virtual machine before the desktop install. Here I am running the Ubuntu uh, server again with all the preparation completed. So in order to install the Ubuntu LXD desktop I simply go to sudo task cell install Ubuntu desktop. And this is going to take a while. And the reason you use task cell is because it does a little more checking than just simply uh, install Ubuntu desktop. You might want to have that happen on the server. Every time it comes up with a new screen, I'll show you the new screen and then not have you watch everything in between. Here the install is completed. You'll notice that it's got a command line down at the bottom. It's taken about uh, 13 minutes to do the install. So now I'm going to shut it down. It may not shut down by itself uh, the first time right here. And if it doesn't shut down by itself, uh, we can always go up here. If it does not shut down by itself, we can go up here to machine and do an ACPI shutdown. Sometimes it does on install and sometimes it doesn't so I don't know exactly what's going on there but uh, just to let you know in case it shuts down smoothly here. So I'm going to do sudo power off hit enter. Okay, In this case it did shut down cleanly but you'll know what to do if it doesn't. So now you have the desktop installed and in the next section I'm going to install VirtualBox Guest Editions. And this has taken about 15 minutes total here. Here I am after the desktop's been installed. Right click and start. What I'm going to do here is install VirtualBox Guest Editions and you'll get your first look at the desktop. Here is the Lubuntu desktop. Log in. When the menu uh, item pops up here in the left bottom left corner I'm going to insert the VirtualBox Guest Edition. So go up to Devices, Insert Guest Edition CD Image, and it says Open in File Manager. If I open it in File Manager, it's not going to work because you have to have root privileges, and you don't have the File Manager in root privileges. So I'm going to click Cancel here, and then I'm going to go here to the Accessories, open up the LX Terminal. And I'm going to go to sudo, and I'm going to open up the file manager with uh, administrative privileges using sudo from the mic login. And it's PC man FM. Hit enter. You've got the password to enter. Now it says here error permission denied. Actually, you can just ignore this, so I'm just going to click OK. Here's VBox Editions. Open it up. And what I want to do is run VBox Linux Editions.run. Don't click on this. Execute. 
and it's going to take a few minutes here and it's going to install VirtualBox Guest Editions. Now it says it's installed. Just restart the guest, basically restart. So return, enter, go ahead and close this, go ahead and close this, log out, I'm going to click on reboot. So let's log in. And what you have now is uh, an Ubuntu server with a full Linux X11 desktop environment, LXDE. You can take a look and see what, what's installed over here. You've got Abbey Word, Gnumeric. Uh, I think this one has uh, for the internet. You've got uh, Chromium. You can also install Firefox if you wish. Sudo apt get and install Firefox. Let's go over accessories. You know, one thing you might want to take a look at uh, system tools is the Lubuntu Software Center allow you to install some extra items and if you want to update some things on your server server let's open up an LX terminal and you can do a sudo task cell let's move this over here and you can see that you've got got the basic Ubuntu server open SSH server and you've got some other additions right here. It says print server, I, I believe that was installed with Lubuntu, but not 100% sure on that because originally it, there was no print server installed. So that's pretty much it for installing a Lubuntu desktop on a Ubuntu server along with VirtualBox guest editions. Thank you.